Let's talk about Automated Attendant. Now, Automated Attendant has been with us for quite a few years. When voicemail technology really first got going big time in the 80s, uh, it was one of the applications that was uh, deployed most often. Uh, the problem with it is, is so many companies deployed it too quickly uh, without any thought to how it's going to sound to the customer or if it's easy, even going to be easy to understand. Um, in fact, Automated Attendant is responsible for a lot of the frustration in, in the world when people call those automated systems. They say they hate those. So one of the ways to make it so it's not so difficult for the end user when they call in is to spend a little time thinking about, you know, what are those people calling for? What information do they want? Um, how can we best provide that to them? And it does, you know, certainly it saves money so you don't have a person uh, answering calls saying the same thing over and over all day so it's, it's good for that uh, but ultimately it's an opportunity for you to sh shape the image of your company when customers call so it's script first and foremost and then call flow does it make sense the way the calls are going is it easy for the end user to understand and our development team here is really good at looking at your company like an end user would and trying to figure out well what would I what would be the best way to say something to make it easy for somebody to get the information they want or perhaps to the person they need to talk to so automated attendant still great technology um, you can really you know help your front door by just working on the script and the call flow and then of course picking a voice that's consistent with your brand that's really key and that's what we always talk about here at GM voices so it's really really key um, to find out more just give us a call